this table kind of looks like prosciutto. I think it looks like a floor. Yeah. Like a tile floor at a at a museum here in Washington D.C. Can I point something out before you start yapping? Sure. See how polite I've gotten as the shows have progressed. Yeah. I ask permission. I don't butt in. Yeah. I follow the script you've provided me. And you certainly don't refer to me speaking as slang words like yapping. Exactly. Anyways, I'm concerned about the string bean that appears to be trapped underneath several other pieces of things from the buffet. I can see it like an earthworm trying to climb out from beneath on the edge of the plate, but it's clearly trapped. It didn't expect to be there, did it? Was it stuck? It didn't expect to be there, and I didn't expect it to be there, and I certainly did not eat it, because a green bean does not belong on a carnivore diet. That's what all these episodes are about, me on a car carnivore diet visiting buffets. So, But it's funny how I didn't eat the green bean, yet I ate potatoes and rice. What's that all about? I don't know. I, just I wouldn't say like that's it. funny. I don't think it's fun. It wasn't funny. I don't funny. know. I did it to be kind of funny and to annoy the other carnivores that came to watch. I thought it would be just fun to stir things up, you know? Stir the pot. So the string bean, was it stuck on the tong? Do you recall? It must have been because uh, it shouldn't have ended up on my plate. What is that, 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 brain, that stick sticking out? Uh, there were chicken skewers. Where? That's the whole f***ing skewer. Where's the chicken? <laughs> I mean, that's like there an entire chicken, skewer. There was chicken on f about 40% of the stick, and that's the other 60%. And the chicken that's on the stick is jammed underneath a whole bunch of other things, including a little piece of ham that just kind of looks like it's floating on the top there. I think there's a video of you cutting the ham or pulling, tugging at the ham. Yes. That's the best you were able to do with slicing? Are those little shards? You don't really know how to slice meat, do you? The knife wasn't that sharp. Oh. And I was trying to do it with one hand because I was holding the camera with the other hand, which is where you might have come in handy if you'd been on, helped me make the show. So again. As your, as your traveling you were, carver? Yeah, your, you were sorely missed. Did they call the place where they had the meat that you could carve something stupid like the carvery? There wasn't even a separate section for the carved meats. Oh, the, no. The meat that you were supposed to carve was in a container. It wasn't even on a cutting board. They just had the knife there, and they figured, oh, you're just supposed to saw it in midair. And there was no surface to glide the knife on like a cutting board, you know? What about the electric knife? Remember that stupid thing? I used to have one. It was quite handy. I don't know if anybody buys those anymore. I mean, I know they could... Like that? Yeah. It was basically like two blades vibrating back and forth with a yeah. handle. It was like the this. same handle that you had on the mixer. So the did you eat the green bean? No, I did not. Um, green uh, vegetables have oxalates in them and they're toxic for you. Uh, so as a carnivore, I did not eat that green bean. Can you please say that again, what you just said? The Not all of it, but just the annoying part of it. I think you know what part it is. Just if you could segment out the uh -huh. f***ing annoying part that you said in that long sentence. Yeah. And say it I, again. I'm a carnivore, so no, I don't know. No, no, no not, not that. Just as, as a carnivore. Oh, sorry. As, as. a carnivore. Yeah. In that same yeah. sort of. <laughs> yeah. 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 As yeah. a carnivore. That's when people stop listening. As a carnivore, I'm better than everybody else. If you were a real carnivore, what you would have done when that green bean touched that meat you would have raised your hand and asked some staff, I can't eat this now. I need another plate. And they would take that back and you would tell them you haven't touched any of it. So perhaps they could return it to the buffet. It did travel through the dining room, but yeah. the dining room air 
is all over the food and the buffet anyway. So there's nothing wrong with the dining room air. Was it sticky dining room air? Oh yeah, it was, I don't think their ventilation was very good. Everything was sticky. Yeah. I'm really also concerned about their understanding of how a skewer, why get a skewer that long? If they're not going to, I mean. I guess they wanted you to have enough skewer to grab onto. Yeah, but you could grab that like your whole hand. Usually, you know, skewer might grab like that. Do you agree it's too long? Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's it's a little ridiculous. Did you hold the skewer when you ate it like that? No, I grabbed I grabbed the tip of it so as not to touch it with a lot of my hand skin. Yeah. And I, t- I touched it, and then I used the fork to to push the meat off the stick. So you didn't eat from the skewer. I may have taken the top piece off, but I wasn't about to start taking the pieces from the middle and then glide the stick off and have the greasy stick go across my beard. Did it slide off easy? Yeah, easy enough, but it wasn't that good. It was kind of dry. Like None of the food at this particular buffet was that was that great? The plate's pretty tight too. You really yeah. you used all of it. Yeah, it's a good I photo a, though. I put a potato right in the middle of the pile of rice, and the potatoes had a weird fishy aftertaste, which was very off-putting. Hmm. Can you eat fish on your carnivore diet? Yeah, but you don't really eat. You haven't. Uh, you know what I've actually gotten to enjoying is uh, sardines out of the can. Tin seafood? Mm-hmm. My brother used to eat sardines when he was a kid, and everyone was so, my family was so impressed. I remember my grandmother saying, your brother Kevin eats sardines. And it was very, it was a very impressive stage in his life. I forget, he's maybe eight years old. But the sardine thing was the, the peak of his popularity from there he didn't have the same level of he didn't get the same level of attention for eating things is that because he made sardines his entire personality and then he and then and then after that he flopped for a period of time yes you could be eating anything else and everyone would all the attention would go to him cuz he was eating sardines kind of like what you've done with this show it hijacked it for your carnivore persona that stage yeah. you're going through. This will be when we look back 10 years from now, episodes, this will be a, a certain period, like the prehistoric, you know, all the different periods, <laughs> Neanderthal period. This would be the carnivore period. I don't get to share that much personal about myself because I'm just uh, here to support you. Maybe in the next set of episodes, between now and the time we rec- need to record new episodes, Maybe you should think of something that draws more attention to you, something that you can do that's unique with regards to buffets that would put more attention on you. Mm, That's okay. I don't necessarily like to have more attention. Uh, I just thought that this would be a nice little, uh, little twist. Carnivore twist? Yeah. Is that the name of the episode, The Carnivore Twist? <laughs> I guess. I guess it is now. I mean, I just wanted to say that in passing. In passing? Uh, but I, I didn't really pass. I've been here. I didn't pass anything. I'm just, he- I'm just here staring at the camera in my office. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. Good episode. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. It's great. It's really good to be back. Yeah, very good. Very good to be back. Good to be back. All right. Bye. Bye.